Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Ski Dude and as you can see I am putting together or I have put together a particle pack for you to download. Now what's included here as you saw kind of in the video beforehand there is rain, uh, snow, different kind of fire. So this is like a one block fire here that was just on the ground. Same over here and same here. Then this was a four block fire. I don't know. I mean, if you're going to have a huge fire, it's going to be harder to do it with just one little block here and there. So I did a four block fire and then I did a side view fire. So I lit a block on fire and filmed it. Um, and then we have the creeper explosions. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Put that where you need it. The Enderman one is a little hard to see, um, just because it didn't really green screen very well, just because the particles were so small and I guess I wasn't close enough. Um, but it's still doable. Um, I don't know. That one may not be workable, but uh, I figured I would include it anyway. So the way you're going to use this, I it, it does require some advanced knowledge of video editing because this is all green screen footage and let me show you, I, I guess I'll show you how to do it in uh, Premiere, which is what I'm using. So I have all my different files here. Um, you can see that I shot in front of a green screen. I just uh, set up, a, I made a custom texture pack in Minecraft, built a little box and uh, I just changed the texture of obsidian so that it was a solid green. So that, so that like when the creeper exploded and whatnot, it wouldn't kill my green box. Um, so let's just go ahead and add another creeper explosion. Now, I did film a lot of extra ones, and you're gonna see, let's move this down so we're not overlaying everything else. Um, uh, this one again, there we go. All right, so I did record more than one. I just picked the one that I thought looked the best um, so I'm going to have the full, um, clip here. It's going to be up to you to trim it up how you want it, um, and cut out the ones you don't want. So there are multiple ones here. So the way to do this in Premiere, let me show you real quick. If you do use Premiere, you want to use what's called the ultra key. And you're going to find that by either typing ultra in the search box, or you can, um, browse to your video effects and go down to Keen. Now I'm using CS6, I do not know what it's like in lower versions. Um, so you just click and drag this on and then you'll see the options here. So I click the little eyedropper. I want to find the brightest green that I can, which is going to be this one down here. Um, let's put a video underneath it so you can see how it's going to turn out. Let's drag this up drag this over okay so you can see there's still kind of this weird shadow thing and that's because the in Minecraft there were shadows on the back of the wall and the way I get rid of this in Premiere you're gonna have to pretty much do the same thing in other programs is you want to change your tolerance and for me I'm changing the shadow tolerance down to zero so that it doesn't c catch any shadows so now when I play through um, of course you would trim it, there you go, you trim it before the creeper was there, you would just trim it right before the creeper blows up. Um, but you get the idea. Let me just uh, trim this one up a little bit. Back. There we go. So I cut the clip right before, so if I kind of search by frame. So from 27 to 28 is when the explosion happens. So I cut the clip at 28 um, using Control K. If you're in a Premiere, delete it and whatnot, and just sync it up how you want it. And they do come with the associated sounds. So the explosion, rain had the sound of rain, and the Enderman, and even the fire had the fire sounds included. So that's pretty much how to do it with uh, Adobe Premiere. Um, of course, you're gonna wanna resize it depending on how far back so that if that did happen up on the steps um, I'd want to put it right there if I want it closer to the screen you just got to think of depth of field so if I'm going to have something blow up there since it's closer to me I am going to want to have it bigger so say like that and I'll just play close up and see your creeper friend and it goes black because there's no more video underneath it but that's basically how you do it so you're either going to need to use uh, Adobe Premiere 
Adobe After Effects, Sony Vegas. I don't know if Camtasia can green screen. If there's a Camtasia user that watches this and there is, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. But if you're using some other program, please don't ask me how to use it because I'm not going to know. This is Premiere, this is what I use for my videos, so I'm not going to be able to troubleshoot every program for you. But I know a lot of people have been begging for these particles to be added, and eventually David will be actually just adding this into Minimator, but I figured until then, I'd come out with a little particle pack for you to use. And if you do end up using this in any of your animations, just go ahead and leave the link to this tutorial video in the description of the video so if people then want to use it they'll be able to find it um, so yeah I just thought you guys would enjoy that because so many people have been asking how to put this in there because it really does take the animation to the next step having the particles having the sounds and so I figured I'd put them all together in one file for you to use um, I'm gonna have them in mp4 format because that's gonna be the smallest file size um, for me to upload onto Mediafire so, um, yeah, there you go, Particle Pack by Ski Dude. <laughs> so, yeah, um, next week I will get back to 0 0.6, I guess I should, I told, I said I was going to be doing 0 0.6 tutorials, um, here, but, um, I just wanted to, I don't know, I just wanted to get this out there before I moved on to 0 0.6. Anyway, enough blabbing. Um, this is Ski Dude. Rate, subscribe, thumbs up if you've got any problems with this and you're using Adobe Premiere. Go ahead and put a question in the comments below. And if not, YouTube is your best friend for tutorials. Just Google whatever program you're using with green screen afterwards and you should be able to find it. So anyway, I will catch you guys later. Peace.